As winter becomes spring, and a new fishing season is about to start, it's a good time to ask the question, where did New Zealand brown trout come from? All New Zealand brown trout have their origins in Christchurch, New Zealand. Christchurch was first settled in 1850 by English people that arrived in the port of Littleton by sailing ships. Here you can see in this early depiction the early pioneers coming over the hill from the port of Littleton to see the Canterbury Plains, which was going to be their new homeland. It didn't take long for Christchurch to get well established and to grow. Christchurch is built upon the Avon River. The early pioneers named the Avon River after its counterpart in England and you'll find a lot of great British influence throughout New Zealand. As Christchurch grew, the Avon River became central to a lot of cultural and recreational activities. The town of Christchurch flourished was to become the Garden City. The early pioneers had a strong desire to embrace the importation of species from the homeland and it wasn't long before trout were proposed and an acclimatisation society hatchery established on the banks of the Avon River. This importation was going to be arduous, difficult and expensive and the charge was led by Mr Andrew Johnson who was responsible for nurturing these 400 over brought over from Tasmania by ship in these boxes. Eyed over are the developing trout eggs. Out of the 400 over imported into Christchurch, only three survived. So the future acclimatization of trout looked bleak indeed and a remarkable tale was about to unfold. Mr. Johnson returned in September but because of the long, rough voyage, only three of the over survived. After hatching, the three fry escaped, but two were recaptured. Mr. Johnson's account of this experience was a racy and picturesque one. A tremendous flood, the highest ever known in Canterbury, he wrote, submerged the gardens and the three trout were washed out into the swamp leading into the river and appeared hopelessly lost. With faint hope of their recapture, a spawning race was prepared near their rearing home and at the end of the season, two of the lost trout were seen and secured. They proved to be male and female and from these a supply of ova was obtained annually. From these two original fish, brown trout went on to fry throughout New Zealand which was to become a popular trout fishery for New Zealand people and visitors from all over the world. In September 2010 and February 2011, Christchurch suffered two devastating earthquakes. And the resulting damage and tragedy was of immense proportions for Christchurch. Today, however, Christchurch is on the path of recovery and the Avon River still melodiously flows through this wonderful city.
much like those early pioneer days, the Avon River is still central to cultural and recreational use from visitors and New Zealand people alike. Here, in spring 2012, Peter Langland and Adam Peat enjoy some fine angling on the Avon River. Each spring I like to visit the exact location of the original hatchery along the banks of the Avon River. Here's the original spawning race of the hatchery. Were these the original gravels the trout spawned in? The Adam and Eve of New Zealand brown trout. As I gaze at this splendid example of a brown trout in the Avon River, I, like many other anglers, give great thanks to Andrew Johnson and the early acclimatisation societies. very heartening that the Avon River still flows clearly through the city of Christchurch and supports lush freshwater wildlife. And as the busy modern world drives by, 
young anglers still enjoy the brown trout of the Avon River.